what Dale Lee is doing, what Dale Lee is doing is, uh, we know what he's doing, right? He's going like to lame Muslim yes. apologetics websites. Um, <laughs> yeah, and when you're ready, I have to. Okay, hang on. He's going to guys. We know what we know what happens here, right? Because there are Muslim websites that want to calm Muslims down. Because Muslims hear this. Wait, Muhammad had sex with a nine year old girl. Oh my goodness, is this true? And Muslim apologists understand that that Muslims are very embarrassed by this, and and they start doubting that Muhammad's a true prophet because they they know that this is wrong, that he shouldn't do this. And then so you got these lame websites that will sit there and say, oh, you know, in Ibn Asak, it says that she was much older. And in the history of Atabri, it says that she was much older. And then Muslims go, oh, thank you. Now I don't have to read those sources. I'll just trust what you're saying on your website, not realizing they're dealing with complete total liars who will right. say anything to keep to keep Muslims in a state of ignorance. This only works with people who haven't read the sources. If they're dealing with people who have actually read the sources, let's read the comment real quick. Aisha was married in 622, and although her exact birthday is unknown, <laughs> he goes to Al-Tabri. Tabri recorded that it happened before Islam was revealed in 610. So her birthday was before 610, Sam. He's quoting Tabri okay. for this. Okay. So if, I didn't, if, if we didn't know what Tabri said, we would say, bam, slam dunk case. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, what now, happens if we actually CP, read Tabari? Sorry to delay this, but we got to expose this clown so we don't take him seriously. I want to give you it's the fine. references. And I'm going to quote the relevant ones because I got tons of quotes in my paper, which we'll link to from uh, Tabari. This comes from, right, just remember these, History of Al-Tabari, <clears throat> Volume 7, pages 6 to 7. Okay, History of Al-Tabari, Volume 9, pages 129 to 130. History of Al-Tabari, Volume 9, pages 130 to 131. Okay, look how many references. History of Al-Tabri, volume 39, pages 170 and 173. I'm going to read just some of them. The Prophet married Aisha in Shawwal in the 10th year after the beginning of his prophethood, three years before immigration. Okay, three years before immigration. He consummated the marriage in Shawwal eight months after immigration. On the day he consummated the marriage, she was nine years old. Wait, wait, wait. No, you, you can't quote Bukhari. We're talking about Al-Tabari. What does Al-Tabari say? Al-Tabari. On the day he consummated the marriage with her, she was nine years old. Nine years old. Now, let me read another one. Aisha states, We came to Medina and Abu Bakr took up quarters in Al-Sun among the Banu Al-Harith bin Al-Khazraj. The messenger of God came to our house and men and women of the Ansar gathered around him. My, uh, because I want to read this because look how young she was. My mother came to him while I was being swung on a swing between two branches and got me down. Jumeima, my nurse, took over. So she was saying she had a nurse. Okay, pay attention to that. And wiped my face with some water and started leading me. When I was at the door, she stopped so I could catch my breath. I was then brought in when the messenger of God was sitting on a bed in our house. My mother made me sit on his lap and said, These are your relatives. May God bless you with them and bless them with you. Then the man and woman got up and left. Now watch this. The messenger of God consummated his marriage with me in my house when I was nine years old. The messenger of God consummated his marriage with me in my house when I was nine years old. Now this is just two of the several that I quoted from the various Volumes of Tariq Al-Tabari, the history of Al-Tabari. Do you, do you see why I said this guy's a joke? Don't take him seriously. He makes even Muhammad look righteous. What about the dolls, uh, uh, Sam? Do you have some reference about the dolls, Aisha playing with dolls? Because obviously, yes. mm -hmm. Aisha, yes. she is a very old woman, but she is playing with dolls. Right obviously, she has been with you then. Yeah. Do you want me to read it, Sabi? Well, go ahead if you know okay. them already. Here it is. Sahih Muslim, book 8, number 3311. Sahih Muslim, book 8, number 3311. Aisha reported that Allah's apostle married her when she was seven years old and she was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine and her dolls were with her. <laughs> Sorry to delay this, CP, but this liar has to be exposed because he has no honor. Yeah, I think, uh, guys, uh, should we be just be done with Dale Lee? Yes. Because every, I mean, what has he said that has been accurate? Every single comment. Uh, that he's gone through, we put up on the screen, and every single comment was a total lie. So basically, when you're dealing with people who are just compulsive liars, yes. then it, it, it's kind of an awkward situation because what do you do, right? You can either ignore them, in which case they're posting lies over in the chat all day long, 
or you respond to them, in which case they take up all your time because you have to keep exposing them as a liar. Um, or you have to just say, tick tock, time to block. Those are the options. Yeah. Um, all right. <clears throat> so we're going to be done with Dale Lee yes. until he learns to show some level of integrity. Uh, Christian Prince, can you read the, uh, can you see the comment up, I put up on the screen? Uh, this guy is a joke. You know, I know him. His name is Abbas. He's a potato. He's a sauce. Guy from uh, Speaker's Corner? Is, is, he, is he serious or is he joking? Oh, a speaker. And he is from the corner, but he's not a speaker. He's an idiot. Just ignore him. This, is, this guy is a kid. Yeah. He said, he's what, uh, at 10, to, where, where you got this 10? It says there, and she is in the age of six years. Man, so, I, to read, man. I mean, this guy is, uh, is mentally ill. Just ignore him. So, he's so, not so, 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 so let me get this straight. Um, in every in every hadith that we we have here talking about Aisha being either six or seven when the marriage contract was written, and nine years old when Muhammad in his fifties climbed on top of her, and then being very specific, right, that she was nine and then he lived nine years and he died when she was eighteen, right? They're giving us an entire timeline. You're saying, oopsie! In every last one of these hadiths, they forgot to add ten to it. By the way, serious? just to confirm what he's saying, well, I'm going to post the link to the article, Lord Jesus willing, later. I'm going to run down the names. So I'm not going to read them. Look how many sources. But these, all these Muslims were idiots. They needed Dale Lee and Muslim Popper to show up to correct them. Notice how many sources. Al-Bukhari, Imam Muslim, Abu Dawood, Nasai, <clears throat> Ibn Majah, Ibn Asham, Al-Tabari. Not even done yet. Let me get there because look at it. Ibn Kathir. Count, guys. Ibn Qayyim, another student of, of uh, Ibn Taymiyyah. A modern Muslim convert who wrote an English biography on Muhammad. Martin Lings, he's since deceased. Another modern Muslim. Sayyaf ur-Rahman al-Mubarak Puri. Okay, that's some of the many sources. But what these guys are telling us, the Muslims of the past, and the Muslims of the present, bunch of idiots and clowns. 14 centuries. They didn't realize. Idiots. You just have to add 10. That's it. Uh, uh, you know, David, why you don't put for them again, please, that the article I sent you, it says refutation to the lies. Those are Muslims. Muslims saying to the Muslims that those who say so, they are liars. The Muslims saying that, not us. The article is there, and it's written by scholars of today, yes. not 14 centuries ago. So look at this, guys. We have Muslims who they are ashamed of their prophet. This is a good. This is a very good sign, by the way. You see, we Christian, we will never be ashamed of something Jesus the Christ, our Lord, did. We agree with what he did. We agree with what he said. We agree with every letter in the Bible. Muslims don't. Because they feel the shame, the humiliation, so they try to cover up. And this is a clear sign that Muhammad is a creator of Abdulism. Abdulism is mean what? Abdul and he is a slave. And the slave, he have no right to think. He have just no right except to obey. Ab Abdulism is a person, he is not allowed to think, not allowed to, 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 to dishonor his prophet, even if he have to lie. And this is what we have today. They cannot, no. um, they are ashamed of their prophet, Muhammad having sex with a doll, Muhammad having sex. What about Muhammad imagining himself having sex, but in fact he was not? Mm -hmm. What would be this one? Forget about Aisha. That means Muhammad, and the Muslim in the hadith, they say the prophet was bewitched. And even this guy who put the comment there, he agreed that his prophet was bewitched. So the bewitched prophet is trustworthy for you. And he is a prophet. Mm -hmm. If this is the case, that means you are an Abdulist who believe in a bewitched prophet and we will never accept a bewitched man to be a person to tell us yesterday an angel, he squeezed me three times. That happened only for mayonnaise, ketchup, but not for a prophet. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Thing. And, uh, and by the way, everyone, not notice what this, uh, this article is responding to. It's, uh, it's responding to a, a newspaper article entitled Young Journalist corrects a thousand-year-old mistake of leading scholars. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, this is the Salafi website, IslamQA.com, yeah. but they're not the only ones. Guys, I'll put the links to this one and a link by a Sufi Muslim who was a Maronite Catholic converted to Islam. His name is Sheikh Jibril Fuad Haddad. He wrote a devastating refutation to a moderate Muslim 
who tried to argue that Aisha was a nine and obliterated his arguments. And this was a Muslim name, Sheikh Jibril Fuad Haddad. So this is a Salafi website, Islam QA. I'll link to it and I'll link to Sheikh, Sheikh Jibril, Lord willing later. The Muslims are refuting them. And for, the, uh, for every one of you, look for Yasir Qadi. I mentioned Yasir Qadi because many of you have heard of Yasir Qadi. Yasir Qadi, he has a lecture, a series of lectures on the mother of the believers. He's done three parts on Aisha. In the last part, he devotes an entire section to refute the arguments showing Aisha was older than nine, that she was 18. He refutes them. Yasir Qadi. This is not a, our debate. It's your debate. Yep. All right. Check this out.